Hi guys, this is Martin and today we will talk about the Rage Wallet that I have purchased some time ago. Before we all start, you can win this $10 off from an next purchase from the Rage company. All you need to do is subscribe to my channel, hit the notification button, hit the like button and comment I want to win. On 5th of December, I will randomly choose one of you and send you the promo code. If you're watching after the 5th of December of 2019, don't worry. There is a link down in the description that gives you 10% off from the next purchase from the Rich Company. Now, let's get started. So, what's the point of this video? We will do something like unpackaging. I'll show you what's inside. We will talk about different wallets that the, the Rich Company is doing actually and which one I have chosen. I will very quickly explain you what does it mean RFID blocking because this wallet do have it. And at the end, because I'm using it over I think two weeks time, I will tell you what are according to me the pros and cons of this wallet. What's inside? Of course, nice packaging, marketing materials, definitely, sticker, cool. The wallet itself and basically you will receive it with the uh, with a promo code that the same one that you can win small screwdriver and extra screws so very briefly about the wallet itself i have decided that i will go with the forge carbon it's a different style of producing the carbon i'm a petrol head i do travel with the beast around the world so carbon was the option by the way in case you would like to see what i'm doing where i'm traveling what i'm working on Follow me on a Facebook and Instagram as Martin the Vlogger. You can buy different style wallets. The cheapest one is the aluminium one. It's something like $75. Uh, this one was something like $110. And the most expensive one is the steel one. And it goes up to whooping, I think, almost $300. One option you can choose is either if you like to have the, the clip, the money clip, or a strap like this. Uh, friends of mine, they're having clips. I'm not really that type of guy. I like, you know, I'm traveling a lot with the motorbike. I'm just throwing it into the into the trunk of the bike. So I wanted to have the, the strap because I can easily fit in uh, the money. Maybe you are asking why you have or you will receive the screwdriver because the wallet consists of, I think, seven or eight small screws. You can time them up. Uh, friends of mine, they're using it for several years. And they say from time to time they may be a little bit loose, so you need to, you know, tighten them up. Uh, also, it's very simple then, in case you are tired of the, of the style of the wallet, you can just simply buy a new cover, basically. So, yeah, that's the reason why you receive also the screwdriver. Also, it has one quite nice feature. I'm traveling to various countries. It's not really the case of Slovakia. I never heard about such story. Somebody stealing you money. Uh, from the card when you have it in the pocket or you know somewhere on you in the wallet Let me show you how the RFID blocking works It's basically a piece of the metal or whatever material inside of the wallet and blocks the signal from your cards So you can you know you do the contactless uh, payments now in case you have a normal card you, if you go next to your phone it reads it reads all, whatever information the card sends, basically. Uh, this, this is very stupid and simple test, but this is how it works. So if you go to the terminal, you pay, you are next to the terminal, the money are withdrawn from your account. The same goes from the for the people that they would like to steal you something. They have a small machine. They can be very close to you and steal $20, $50, whatever is the limit that you can do the, with, with, the, with the contactless payment. Now, how it works with the, with the wallet, Obviously, it's probably something that you expect uh, when it's inside. Basically, as I said, it has kind of a metal inside and you can do whatever, you know, the phone or whatever machine will be not able to read uh, the card um, that you have in there. So that's really, really nice, especially in the countries that these kind of scams are, are happening. Now coming to the, to the things that are positive or negative, it's very subjective um, a point of view, but maybe it will, it will help you to decide. Uh, first of all, yeah, it's nice, nice thing, but still, in case you have 12 cards and I really do need, or 10 cards, this is 10 cards, I really do need them. And uh, yeah, still it's quite, you know, chubby. Of course, don't get me wrong, it's much more smaller than the regular wallet I was carrying around, but still, it's quite chubby. Uh, it fits into your pocket, but still, it's gonna be cut by my girlfriend 
if we are two out, she will be carrying this in her bag. Another thing, it's maybe a little bit negative thing. Um, I do collect a lot of bills because I do travel a lot. And those small bills from, from taxi, you know, or from, from dinners and stuff like that. And usually I just throw them into the wallet. Now I cannot do that anymore. So, or basically you can, but it looks absolutely ugly and it's not the point. So I'm, I'm, the experience was that I was having the bills all over my pocket. So uh, that's one maybe kind of thing that I need to get used to. Definitely one good thing is I used to, when I usually went out and I didn't want to carry that ugly old uh, wallet, I just took the, the credit card and some money, you know, and I put it into pocket and this is what happened, you know, um, the car is like this now. So it, it won't happen, definitely it won't happen with, uh, with a wallet like this. Um, one thing you need to get used to, and there are different wallets, but especially with the, with the Ridge wallet, you need to get used to of the grip. So here is a small kind of a shape for your fingers so you can push out the cards. And then you need to learn the grip, you know, to, to take off the cards, the card that you do need. That's something that you will get the grip after, after some time. I'm already getting better, but I'm still not there. One negative thing about actually about the RFID blocking is that uh, I have a company card. When I would like to enter the building, I need to just, you know, use the card and I cannot do it anymore with this, with this wallet. Overall, and this is my honest experience because the rigid wallet, the rigid company didn't pay me anything for this video. Uh, I like it. I'm really getting used to it. It's the modern way of you, a minimalistic way of, of carrying around the cards and stuff like that. So for me, definitely a very, very good boy. Thank you very much guys for watching. In case you like what I do, subscribe, hit the like, hit the dislike, do whatever. But most importantly, remember, always have fun.